Okay guys, well, I'm back with a fresh product. We have a, a brand new DM9. Um, we released it a few weeks ago, and it's been, it's been going down the storm so far. We've, um, we've had all of them shooting great out of the box. Um, all the teams are loving them. Um, and I just want to break it down a little bit for you guys, just so you can understand a bit more what's gone into this gun. Um, first things first, we've got um, a new styled ultralight frame. It's slightly more aggressive styling on here. Also with a snatch grip at the back, so it's nice and easy to hold at the back of the gun. Coming forward, we've got the Hyper 3 regulator. Now this is this, this actually came out in the DMA, but it's working working incredibly well. And the, every slight turn of an Allen key adjustment um, only changes the feet per second slightly. So it means that you can really, really fine tune your feet per second, especially if you're shooting good paint, and get it right up to like 290, 295, wherever you really want to push it to the, to the edge. So instead of having to run a lot lower and, and having to really try and get this going, you can just turn it slightly and it just gives you nice fine increments. So that works really, really nice whether whatever format you're playing. Um, coming up to the top of the gun, we have a clamping feed neck. It's worked really good, um, so that's back on this gun. We also have a 14-inch ultralight barrel. Comes with a standard 688 back, um, and that's also good to go. Basically, with this, it's standard autococker threads like all Matrixes. I'm just going to take that off right here, because I want to show you guys um, the eye pipe system. I don't know if you can see down in there. Um, you see the orange detents up in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take those out, and I just want to show you guys how easy it is to clean this whole system. Basically, the way, the way this, guy, uh, this eye pipe works is that whenever, if any paint ever gets in the breech or any balls ever break in the breech, the front o-ring on the bolt is going to come through the pipe and clean that out within one shot, okay? So whenever, whenever you get to any dirt in there, all you need to do is fire another shot and it will, it will automatically clean through there. If any paint gets around the outside of this pipe, it's not a problem just because the fact that the eyes are actually suckered to the side of the eye pipe, so even if you get uh, paint around the eyes, they're never actually going to get on the front of the eyes, okay? Obviously, if you do ever get paint on the front of the eyes or, you know, something gets really, really clogged up in there, all you need, you need to do is pull that out like I've just done, and it's good to go, you know, just wipe it all down, and there it is. Basically, with the detents, um, they've been greatly improved this year. Uh, we've been trying out these polymer detents for a long, long time now, and they work incredibly well. So it eliminates any problems with double feeding if, you're, if your loader's pushing really hard. And just the consistency with the detents, it's so easy to change. I know you get a couple, a couple free with it as well with the spares kit, so you're just good to go really. This, this last really well, it gives a perfect um, tension on the actual paint, so it doesn't push it too hard or stop it feeding, but it stops the double balling as well. So that works really, really nicely. With this, I'm just gonna take the ball out, same as before. A few Allen key turns, and that whole back section is gonna come out there, okay? With this, it's a much, much shorter bolt section than, uh, than last year. I think it's about half an inch to an inch uh, smaller. Um, with that as well, the way it's worked out with the, the back of the bolt, I don't know if you guys can see in there so well, but we've actually milled out the center part of the body as well. So it just means that there's a larger air chamber in there, which means that we can bring the pressure set down slightly and also makes it more efficient. So that's a nice touch that not, not many people know about. With this, we also have the, uh, the reach trigger as well, okay? And this is a, a brand new industry first thing that we've, we've brought in. Um, basically with the reach trigger, just with this adjustment in here, you can loosen it up and then pull the trigger forward or pull it back depending on, totally depending on your preference. So I know a lot of guys with DMs like, like, like oh, sorry, last year, like the Ironman triggers that were coming further forward. So with this reach trigger, it means you can set the trigger to exactly how you want to set it. Um, at the top of the trigger as well, we have, um, we have some setting marks as well. So you can, you can go and check out your favorite pro player or go and speak to some guy who's got his trigger set up real nicely oh! and just see how he's got it set up, you know, and then actually tweak yours to, to match his. So that definitely works really nice. And everyone has their own flavor with triggers, you know. It's something that a lot of people like to go and buy an aftermarket trigger for. And I think with this, it, it just eliminates all that need, you know, because you can set it exactly how you want. You know, there's, there's hardly any side-to-side -side slack on this trigger. It feels really, really nice and it shoots great. So that's definitely a nice tip. Just to finish off, like I said, we have the clamping feed neck, we have the on-off at the bottom, and this gun is just good to go. You know, it has all four, uh, four modes in there as well. It's got all the ramping modes you need, all the semi-automatic modes, um, and it, just, just everything you could need in, in a polished high-end gun, you know. We, we've, we've shot these for, I think, two, well, we shot them for two tournaments now with London Nexus, and we won both of those tournaments. And literally that first tournament we picked them out, we got them at the airport, we took them out the, out the bags at the other end, and we played that tournament and won it. So we've just got a huge confidence in this gun, and it's just performing incredibly well. So that's pretty much it.